And a special city council meeting on violence convened this morning. It's still in session right now. This is a live look. Superintendent David Brown, he's been on the hot seat facing hours of tough questions about the bloodshed and the police department's plans. Yesterday, 32 people were shot, including three young children. Thank you very much. Is outrageous. It's insulting. That's Southside Alderman Ray Lopez took offense when Superintendent Brown asked to shorten today's special meeting. Well, Brown suggested that it's a distraction for him and his top deputies. He said that unless they get back to work quickly, killings may occur that would otherwise be prevented. And to join us right now, political editor Mike Flannery is here to talk more about this. A lot of people upset in that city council special meeting. Uh, emotions are running high. Uh, so many people are being killed, and, and the fear is uh, we're going to see... Uh, Dozens and dozens uh, shot this weekend, uh, Tia. Brown's uh, request to shorten that meeting fell on deaf ears. Chicago's top cop has now spent hours answering questions and enduring one tongue lashing after another from members of the city council frustrated in the face of another blood-soaked 4th of July weekend. Brown said he's already missed one command meeting this morning and he absolutely needed to get to the next one. The most violent weekend of the year and the tip of the spear, these leaders and myself are here and we're here to inform you of our plans, but our time is impacting public safety, costing lives. We were up all night last night. The superintendent said yesterday's carnage, 32 shot, four dead is what kept him. Chief of Patrol Brian McDermott and Deputy Eric Carter up last night. They're hoping to prevent the next step in Chicago's classic cycle of violence, a series of retaliation killings. Now that often requires a minute by minute redeployment of police officers as gang factions, heavily armed as you just saw in that video a few moments ago, deploy their own firepower. Some aldermen were unimpressed by Brown's plea. The 15th Ward's Ray Lopez let him have it. He said Brown could have scheduled today's public hearing by agreement earlier in the week. We know the violence that's in our streets. We know what happens. And to say that the entire department cannot function because the three of you are here is outrageous. It's insulting. Yesterday, we had over a dozen people shot, three children, one of my neighbors. Earlier in the week, Mayor Lightfoot dismissed the call for today's special meeting as, quote, political shenanigans. Her former floor leader, Alderman Gil Viegas, rejected that about 15 minutes ago. He declared, quote, this is not about shenanigans. People are fed up with this violence. I'm political editor Mike Flannery. And we'll keep watching that ongoing meeting. Thanks, Mike.